Welcome to Arise. Let's have a discussion about the Holy Spirit. I want to speak to you today about the Holy Spirit is speaking. But do we recognize his voice? Do we recognize his voice? You see, a lot of us ask this question. How does the voice of the Holy Spirit sound like? How does the Holy Spirit, how does he speak? We want to know. The problem is not with the Holy Spirit. The problem is with us. Are we listening before we can recognize the voice of God? Are we reading his word? There are a lot of voices out there, but you have to recognize the right voice. Let me share my dream with you. I was just two years in the ministry. I was studying the word of God, having a quiet time with the Lord every day because I wanted to know precious Jesus. And then I had this dream. This man appeared to me in my dream. He had a dark, short hair cut. He wore a robe. When I looked at him, I'm like, this is not how I saw Jesus when I had an encounter with Jesus. But he, he appeared to me in my dream like Jesus. And then he said, do not pray in that man's name. Pray to heaven. You see, you have to know your word. You have to have time in the word of God. You see, in the beginning, in Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So who is in the heaven this man telling me to pray to? Who is he telling me to pray to? He said, don't pray in that man's name. There is something about the name of Jesus. There is something about the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is something about the name of Jesus. He said, don't pray in that man's name. Then he left. Well, he left and then I saw him again like he was walking somewhere and then resting somewhere. But while resting, then his right foot, his anger was outside. You know, when I first saw him, he wore long robe. But then when I saw him, he did not see me. So I saw, when I saw him, I saw the anger. So then I asked, what is on your anger? When he looked, he realized that I saw his anger. He had a tracking device. You see, the police always use this uh, tracking device to track people for different reasons. Some have criminals, some different reasons. But I want to tell you, God Almighty, he tracks every activity, every activities of the demonic world. He tracks it. He knows where Satan is, where he is operating. Whatever meeting Sito is having, God knows. And the way I saw this tracking device on his right angle, it was sealed. There is no way it can be removed. It was sealed. You cannot remove it. He did not say a word. But I saw the tracking device. He tracks. He tracks the demonic wall. And you glad you got a big God. You got a God in heaven that tracks every activities of Sito. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. And when I woke up, I went to Jesus. You have to recognize the voice of God. I said, Jesus, I know when I had an encounter with you, I saw you. But I did not see you like that. Who is this person that appeared to me in my dream? And then, after I finished praying, I went, I lay down on my bed. Then the Lord showed me, he said, copy. C-O-P-Y. Copy. <laughs> Sit on copy is everything. You, you gotta be careful out there. If you're seeking to hear the voice of God, be careful. Because God speaks in different ways. He is not limited to just audible voice. He speaks according to his own time. His own will. But he speaks. Then the Lord showed me, he said, read Ephesians. Hear, listen, and recognize the voice of God. Go to the Lord if you cannot understand. Go to him and ask him. A lot of voices out there. So let's get in the word of God. Oh, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Have mercy upon your people. Bless this word. That someone will be blessed. Precious Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I will first start reading from 1 Samuel chapter 3. It says, yeah, Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation, and it came to pass at that time while Eli was lying down in his place, and when his eyes had begun to grow so dim that he could not see, and before the Lamb of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord where the ark of God was, and while Samuel was lying down, the Lord called Samuel and he answered here I am so he ran to Eli and said here I am you called me you see Samuel was listening but he did not recognize the voice of God that's how many many of us are today we do not recognize the voice of God. And he said, I did not call you, lie down again. And he went and lie down. Then the Lord called again, Samuel. So Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. And he answered, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. And this is where everybody need to listen. Need to listen. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. It is different knowing about the Lord and knowing the Lord. You can know about somebody and don't know about them. And don't know who that person is. Hallelujah. He said, now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Do you know the Lord? You want to hear his voice. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Do you know Jesus as your Messiah? Do you know Jesus? 
Are you spending time in his word? Do you have relationship with God? Are you giving God your time? Or are you so busy that you cannot spend at least like 15, 20 minutes with the Lord? We all want to hear his voice, but we don't want to pay the price. And he said, yeah, no was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. The word of the Lord was not revealed to Samuel. That's why it's important for you to have the word of God within your spirit. Have the word of God within your spirit. You have to know that you are a spirit. You want to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, but you don't believe that you are a spirit. You have a soul, yes, you live in this body, but the real you is the spirit man. If the Holy Spirit will have to speak to you, he will speak to you through your spirit. But do you know the word of God? Because the word of God is spirit. The spirit feeds spirit. We all want for God to speak to us. But are we in his word to recognize his voice? And say, no was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eda and said, Yeah, I am for you did call me. Then Eda perceived that the Lord had called the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be if he calls you that you must say. Yeah, what Eli told Samuel. Eli had to give Samuel the word of the Lord. You see, the word of the Lord has to be in your spirit. Hallelujah. You see, then he, he uh, uh, um, therefore Eli said to Samuel, go lie down and it shall be. If he calls you, you must say, speak Lord, speak Lord for your seven years. So Samuel went and lie down in his place. You see, Eli had to teach Samuel the word of God. Samuel has to recognize the word of God to be able to recognize the voice of the Spirit. We, we don't want to have that time with, with God. But we want him to speak to us. Yeah, what well, what Jesus Christ says. Hallelujah. But before I go to that, let me explain something. Maybe it will help you to understand. You see, when you have an infant, a newborn baby, you first get the baby. You hold your baby in your hand. What are you doing? You establishing that bond with the baby. And as you hold that baby in your hand, you begin to speak to the baby. You speak to the baby, I love you. You see, that baby is looking at you, listening to recognize your voice. have to listen to be able to recognize the voice of God. You have to establish that bone, that relationship with the word of God. You see, when a parent is holding a child, his or her, her child in, in her hand, 
She is establishing that bond with that child. As she speaks to the child, the child is listening. Because that child wants to recognize the parent's voice. It takes time. That child would not recognize the parent's voice right away. But as that parent holds the child, cradle the child, establish that bond with the child, keep speaking to the child, that child keep listening, keep recognizing the voice of the parent. And as that child grows, he is growing up with that voice. Now at some point in that child's life, when mama or dada is coming up that stairs, and that child recognizes the voice of the, of the parent, that child will know it's dada who is coming in. It's mommy who is coming in. Why? Because that bond was established. And that child was able to recognize, to recognize the voice of the parent. But it did not just happen right away. It, it, it took time for that child to establish that bond with the parent. It took time for that child to listen to the parent's voice. It, it took time for that child to recognize the, the parent's voice. And that child grew up with that voice. That child grew up hearing that voice. That's how we are as Christians. When we first studied the word of God, you will not get it right away. I, I was there, so I know it. I started. I started like that. You will not get it the first time. The second time, you will not get it. The third time. But keep reading. Keep listening. Keep listening. Keep feeling your spirit. At some point you will realize he's speaking to me. He's speaking to me. He's speaking to me. But you have to keep reading, keep listening to the word of God. You have to establish that relationship, that bond with the word of God. Now Jesus Christ said here in John 10, 27, he said, my sheep, hallelujah, my sheep hear my voice because Jesus knows there are a lot of voices out there. But he said, my sheep, my sheep, my sheep, who is his sheep? You accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, not with your mouth, with your heart. You are his sheep. You believe in his restoration and his death. He is alive. You are his sheep. He said, my sheep. Mm. My sheep. You see, that's the shepherd who is speaking here. He said, my sheep, hear my voice. And they follow. This is where you reach to a point. You begin to hear the voice of God through his word. Because that's the first place he will speak to you. Through his word. You reach at this point. He said, my sheep hear my voice. And you are the sheep right now. It doesn't matter. I hear the voice of the shepherd. I hear the voice of the shepherd. I know he is my God. He may not be your God, but he is my God. I am his sheep. 
I hear his voice. He is the way. He might not be the way for you, but he is the way for me. He is my savior. He might not be your savior, but he is my savior. I am his sheep. You might not be his sheep, but I am his sheep. You might not follow him, but I follow. This is where you wish. Jesus Christ said, my sheep. Hear my voice. He said, I know them. Ah, I know them. Mm. I know them. You know what it is when Jesus Christ knows you? He said, I know them. They will not be ashamed of me. I know them. Whatever the world say about Jesus, I know them they will follow. I know my sheep. I know them to hear my voice. You see, Jesus Christ, he sets his sheep apart. He sets his sheep apart. You see, I know I was invited to, to a church for Easter service. And I was supposed to preach that Easter service. So, I am a suit. And at that time, I've already had my jacket. Oh my, with a logo, a rice. And I told the Lord, I said, God, I'm a nurse and I love to be a nurse. And I want to remain a nurse. I want to serve you. I want to follow you. But I still want to be a nurse. But you see, I said it, but the Lord heard it. So I faced this jacket. I said, Lord, I will use this jacket. Everywhere I go, I will wear this jacket to represent the ministry. Because it has to be a rice local. Nurse for Jesus. I'm stay clocked in for Jesus. Hallelujah. Stay clocked in. Not clocking out. Never. Not clocking out. I'm there on, on, on the clock. 24-7. For Jesus. Hallelujah. So I was on my knee. I was praying for the service. Praying for the church. Praying for everybody. Before I could say amen, before I ended my prayer, then I heard the still small voice. This is my second time hearing the still small voice. You see, you have to recognize the voice of God. You have to get that bond with the word of God. Hallelujah. Then I heard, wear your jacket. You see, it was still small, deep in my spirit. You have to be quiet. Deep in my spirit. The way I heard him, wear your jacket. Still small, voice but very authoritative. That's how you know it's God. He has that authority behind it. Then I told my husband, I said, oh, I just heard the Lord. He said, I should wear my jacket. You see, when the Lord calls you, he sets you apart, his sheep. You see, the shepherd hears the voice of the sheep. Jesus Christ, my sheep, hears my voice. At the same time, the shepherd, he hears the voice of the sheep. He heard what I said. He hears what you are saying. He hears everything. 
So I went for my jacket and I wore it. And we had a beautiful time with the Lord. I said, Lord, everywhere I go, I'm going to wear this jacket to represent the ministry. Because the Lord approves. Who is there to disapprove? Hallelujah, no one. He approves. I just, out of, you know, curiosity, that's why I just fist, you know, got this jacket and I just said it. But now I realize the sheep, he says, the sheep apart. Every sheep is different. He speaks to every sheep differently. God speaks to you different, differently. He speaks to me differently. Because every sheep is so unique to him. Every sheep is so unique. To God. So he sets you apart. You don't have to be like the other sheep. Though he loves all, all, all the sheep, but you don't have to be like the other sheep. Because he sets you apart. Hallelujah. But you have to hear his voice. For time, have that quiet time with the Lord. After you finish reading, you praise him. Just be quiet. Because the Lord he speaks. You gotta be, you gotta recognize his voice. He speaks in dreams, in vision, revelations. He has the way he can speak to his children. You can limit him to one way. And most of the time, when the Lord when the Lord speaks to me, I don't ask him because I don't I don't seek his I don't go out there praying seeking his voice. He speaks on his own time. If if he needs to give you direction, he, he will. Hallelujah. But I want to speak to someone out there. Someone who have backslidden. That sheep, you heard his voice before, but for some reason, you decided to leave the other sheep and wander somewhere. But it's time to come back to your shepherd. Jesus is calling you. He said, my sheep. He said, I know them. He knows you wherever you are. He knows you. You hear his voice so many times. He said, come. I am the way. I am the way. Follow me. The way is now. You don't know ever tomorrow. You don't know what way you will end up on tomorrow. The way is before you now. You follow Jesus. He said, I am no shepherd. You follow him. Follow him. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for tomorrow. The way is now. The way is now. There might not be any way tomorrow. Choose that way now, today, and follow Jesus. Accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. You have wandered somewhere. But you say today. I hear my shepherd's voice. I hear the voice of the shepherd. I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow my shepherd. 
follow Jesus. Follow him. The time is now. Don't wait for tomorrow. There might not be another way tomorrow. He is the way. He said, I know them. And they follow. That's your opportunity. He's speaking to you right now. He's speaking to you right now. But are you listening to recognize his voice? Take all time in your busy time. Spend time in the word of God. You see, faith comes by hearing. You got to hear the word of God in your spirit. Be blessed with this message. And Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. The way is now. Not tomorrow. Walk with him now. Be blessed with this message. In Jesus' name, amen.